Greetings from Shri Shankara Cancer Hospital and Research Center, Bangalore. I am Dr. Shri Vatsayan, consultant uro oncologist and robotic urologist. Now, once the prostate cancer is diagnosed, how do we go about? Like I mentioned before, it's a slow growing cancer. The treatment opportunities are excellent. Everything depends on how well the patients are diagnosed graded and staged. These are three key components in the management of prostate cancer and any cancer in general. The diagnosis depends on uh, accurate reporting uh, on the biopsy. When a patient comes to us, for example, if a patient comes to us, what we do is we subject these patients to a biopsy and ensure that a good oncopathologist who has a routine experience in observing these slides and interpreting them reviews these slides to opine if there is cancer or not. The second step is to stage these patients. We use advanced imaging techniques like the multiparametric MRI and the PSMA tag PET CT scan to identify the exact stage of the disease. Once we have understood the grade of the disease and the stage of the disease, we plan the treatment. A good percentage of patients with stage 1 prostate cancer tend to have very low grade prostate cancers or what we call as very low risk prostate cancers. There is a possibility of even doing what is known as active surveillance or an active observation on these patients. Knowing fully well that the patient harbors cancer, we still discuss in detail about the pros and cons of treatment and observation and if the patients understand the importance of constant surveillance or constant follow-ups, we can actually put these patients on a follow-up protocol and not do any treatment on them at all. Like I mentioned, a uh, uh, reasonable percentage of them are slow growing and in a vast majority of these patients, the cancer may not progress at all. So no treatment may be required in this subset of patients. Having said that, the remainder of the patients, whoever comes with low risk disease or intermediate risk disease or high risk or very high risk disease will require active treatment to cure their disease. A vast majority of patients in stage 1, stage 2 and stage 3 end up being cured when treatments are planned and delivered appropriately. It requires a multidisciplinary tumor board discussion to understand what is best for the patient and this is what is routinely practiced in our center where a patient comes in, we evaluate the patient think of what is the best possible treatment that can be offered to the patient and subsequently design the treatment. Treatments can be one or multiple. Majority of the patients either get a surgery done or get hormone therapy and radiation therapy done and in uh, a significant percentage of patients a combination of both these treatments may be required to cure their prostate cancer. This is called as multimodality therapy and this is now becoming the current standard of care in management of prostate cancers. When a patient comes to us with prostate cancer, all these parameters are evaluated before a treatment plan is done. 